long last we are home. While I did enjoy our brief respite at the Oasis, I am relieved to be safe in my domain. The very earth and air itself trembles with delight upon my arrival, shivering in anticipation of the promise of a thunderstorm. Hmm. And I do not smell any intruders. Good. The last thing I wanted to concern myself with upon our return was handling any pest control. Cleaning bloodstains out of the walls is always such a tedious business. I have far more important matters to take care of. Come, my songbird. I must submerge into my opulent hoard to return to my human shape. And I wish to do it soon, so that I may embrace you fully once more. It has been difficult keeping my desires at bay, which is why I've been drinking in every moment of this chaste intimacy at your side. It is a wonderful sight to behold, isn't it? After being parted from my treasures for so long, it feels as though I'm beholding its beauty for the first time. But the time has come for me to shift this majestic shape. For now, at least. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> Before I do, you wish to pet my muzzle one more time. I would normally be insulted being petted like a common dog, but I will never say no to more of your touch. Here, let me bend down so you can reach me. You truly do have me under your charms, my little songbird. Only a few months ago, I would have swallowed you whole without thought. And now here I am, bending my head so I may indulge in a few moments of feeling your fingertips dance across my scales. for you to continue this all day. I've already given you more than enough time letting you delight in the beauty of this form. <sighs> Stand back, in case you get swept up in the waves of gold that come crashing down around me. While it is so much smaller, I did miss this shape. Well, my songbird, come here. I wish to wrap my arms around you. <laughs> ah, this is so much better than the coarse sand of the desert, isn't it? <laughs> now, kiss me. 
I have missed feeling those soft lips against mine. your wounds causing any discomfort. They've healed. Hmm. Remove your shirt. I wish to check them myself. Good little songbird. Hmm. I see that a scar will remain, but it seems to have healed well. Good. A little reminder of our adventures, no. However, <laughs> I see that some of my bites have started to fade. Just a little. And we can't have that, can we? It looks like I will have to reapply them. Now lie back, my little songbird and let that sweet voice echo across the caverns of my domain. I don't think I will ever tire of this. In all my centuries, I have watched the sun rise and set thousands of times, but they are made all the more splendorous when shared by your side, especially with your beautiful music filling the air. More wine, my songbird? Of course. <laughs> Very clever of you, sneaking this bottle into your pack when you visited the tavern in the capital. I'm surprised it managed to survive the journey back here, but I'm glad that it did. So we could enjoy it together like this, as the burning orange of the sky turns to sublime, tranquil blue. Here, since you have your hands busy, let me raise your cup to your lips. <laughs> Delicious, isn't it? Almost as delectable as you are. <laughs> let me move closer so I may wrap my arms around you and nuzzle into your neck. It's my favourite way to hold you, after all. My little songbird. Back in the oasis, I made a proposal. A way that you could slake your wanderlust while still being mine. You call my caverns your home, but I permit you to leave once a year for a month to explore this wondrous world, upon which you return to me with a treasure to add to my hoard. Something pretty. Something made of gold. Have you given this any thought? Or are these terms agreeable to you? Oh, three months. <laughs> Look at you. Perhaps my greed is rubbing off on you. 
two months. No more, no less. And you need to return with two treasures. Deal. Hmm. Deal. Now turn to face me, and let's seal this bargain with a kiss. My lovely, sweet songbird. You already know what the second treasure will be. Do tell. Uh, <laughs> you'll return with something made of gold, as well as a new song for me? <laughs> well, that serves me for not specifying what kind of trinket I desired. Hmm. But your talents are worth far more than silver or gold. Speaking of which, you've been hard at work these past weeks. What have you been concocting in that beautiful little mind of yours? A new epic. What is it called? Ah. The Ballad of the Sapphire Queen. Hmm. I rather like the sound of that. Though I do have... One little request. <laughs> I know you bards are picky about feedback, but just listen to me, little songbird. While, of course, you will sing of our courtship, my power and majesty, your wit and grace, I ask that you keep some of my softer qualities a secret between us. I am the Sapphire Queen, the Cobalt Keeper, the Laughing Storm. That is what I want the world to know me as, to always fear and respect me. To hear this song and know of my splendor. But I only want you to truly know me, to truly see me. Share our story, but keep our love a secret. Mm. Yes, our love. We dragons feel desire all the time, but our stubborn hearts seldom understand the complexities that love affords. Which is why I lashed out the way I did. When I accused you of deceiving me with magic, Filling my head with thoughts of you, it is because I couldn't understand why I would feel such things for a lowly mortal such as you, and that impulsive rage almost let you slip through my talons, but despite my errors, you still return to my arms, even risking your life to save mine. In the oasis, the contentment I felt, despite being so far from home, was because of the treasure that lay at my side. This heart that beats beneath my palm as I press my hand to your warm chest is the rarest and most precious gem that I could ever hope to hold. As red and rich as the finest rubies, but as soft as elven silk. A treasure worth more than an entire world's worth of silver or gold or platinum. My followers were loyal, but they did not love me. Not the way you have shown me. My precious bard, my songbird, my beloved. I, Cytaril the Eternal. 
I love you. I pledge to you to keep you safe within my talons. I will shelter you beneath my wings. I will adorn your body with glittering beauty. So long as your precious heart is mine and beats with love for me in return, I will never leave you. Do you feel the same for me? Mm. <laughs> mm. You do. Well, that proves one thing. You have excellent taste in lovers. <laughs> Speaking of taste, there is one thing I should tell you before you begin to plot your journey out into the world. It has been many moons since you first came to me, with a lust for adventure and treasure and much has happened since that night. But I need to tell you, my heat is upon me once more. So while you may still plan your next adventure, you may not leave just yet. Not when my hunger is yet to be sated. Now come with me, my little songbird. I have a great desire to see you knelt before me, your eyes wide and glassy, your lips and cheeks flushed, your skin slick with sweat and musky perfume. And I think you too wish for me to use my tongue and talons to dance and wander over you, as we embrace as lovers do, atop my bountiful hoard. And while I'm certain to make tonight an event worthy of even the most celebrated and bawdy of tavern songs, let's keep the electrifying details between us, all right? Mm. <laughs> Come, my little songbird, my little love. The Sapphire Queen desires you to attend her in her court of shimmering splendors. Now and forevermore. If you enjoyed this ASMR tale and want to become one of the incredibly kind souls featured here, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. To access my Discord server, attend my monthly live narrations, and enjoy other perks, click on the Patreon link below. You can also catch me live on Twitch every Friday and Sunday evening, so be sure to drop by sometime. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and stay wicked and wonderful.